Hey guys, SPO again with your section. Welcome back to the Karsha Titans walkthrough. Also, as something I wanted to put into the start of this video. Okay, anyways, uh, let's continue. Oh, yeah. What are we gonna do? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, episode Capital six. Fits. Don't eat the don't yellow eat the brick road. road. We're like, don't eat the yellow brick road. Okay, uh, This level can be kind of a bitch. And this first part's not actually too bad, as long as they don't walk off the ledge. Like they said, don't need the yellow brick road. Wait a minute, was that a free jack right there? Oh my god, you're kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You do. Seriously. Aww. Oh my gosh, really? Don't do that. Why did I switch? Switch the bitch. Lol. I'm gonna try to get caught right here. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, darn it! And then as soon as you get hit, then it automatically wears off. Permanently. But, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad I got this up because you know, all the times two are gonna be the enemy I'm on right now. All the times two as well, but it. But it. Stop it! I said stop it, not continue. That does not mean continue. Now get out of here. Should I use you? It's dead. Not get off! Knock it off! You're attacking me way too much! All three of you, all on me. That's too tough! Oh my god! That is so stupid on how they do that! They completely gang up on you. It's like the freaking CPUs in Mario. And Pac-Man Fever as well. But mostly Mario Party games. Like in Mario Party 7, there's one mini game I think it's called Bubble Brawl. Okay. Would you stop punching me? I'm sorry, I just I've been getting really pissed at these enemies. I get extremely frustrated when it comes to enemies ganging up on me. Or that is true, because you know like what I was just talking about uh, Mario Party, like when CPUs gang up on you, like total jerks. Like, literally, they actually, like, you know, they just, they're just okay, annoying, like, in this one, like, okay, well, what I can do, I was talking about a little bit more. Basically, there's one minigame in Mario Party 7, it's called Bubble Brawl, and literally, it seems like whenever I play a free CPU, so like, hold on, I've always been playing with CPUs in that game, I've never played that game with someone else. Not even my dad. When Mario Party games, he's ever played with Mario Party 4, and Mario Party 8, and Mario Party 9, and that's it. Over there! He has played the Pack of Fear game, obviously. Pack of Fear played most. I don't know why that's his favorite party game out of all the party games he played, and it's not even that good because there are so many forgotten functions. I mean, except for he said something about uh, what he liked about the 2010 Pack of Party. Yes, he's played Pac Man Party as well. And I remember one time we were about to play it, and like, we're sitting in the characters, and right after all well, the characters start to use, like, you know what I like about this game better is that, you, is that you get to choose the CPUs, and also that you get autosave, and, yeah. And then he explained to me about that the autosave was actually a very easy feature to put into the game, and somehow, why didn't they put it in? I mean, whoever didn't put the autosave in that game should be a, uh, it should be a real shame, though. I mean, at the same time, in the GameCube version, I'm going to think it can freeze, because the GameCube is too well built, because I've been... Because I've been watching people playing games on the GameCube console for like years, and, like, and I've never seen it freeze once, not even once. And the only thing that can get in your way is like when your game gets an error or something like that. I mean, as long as you can continue without having to reset the console, then like, what? Okay, Did I literally go for that flow? I will take it. Like, is there a uh, cheating like that? Or getting, or getting chill like that when I wasn't even ready for it. And after I beat, beat up all those enemies, all those enemies. Would you stop dazing out? Find a way to keep it in. Crash. I 
I don't like Crash Bandicoot until he days himself out. However, Sonic is still my favorite video game character out of anything. And of course, Crash is a video game character, he's kind of a lesser name. He already has a little bit more known than Hackman Fever, because, because uh, like, like what this one channel I watched called Orange Kai Generate said about the game, they, like when they do Pac-Man Fever, they call it a lesser known party game. Especially since it's not like on every console it could have been on. Because they didn't make a Wii version and they didn't make a. Uh, uh, excuse me, a uh, PC version. And they didn't make an Xbox version. I mean, that's fine because the PC version wouldn't be that useful too much. I mean, I guess it would be okay as long as it wasn't, you know, different or something like that. This has been attacking right here. It's not funny, I was actually just using quite a bit of it a little bit ago. Perfect time. A new what is he? Round and roller. Free flop. I believe you just defeat all the enemies in the area, including jackal enemies. I can press the Y button, you can do that. They don't explain that for some reason. They only explain the the Main attack, which is activated by pressing X and. No more rolling. We gotta blow you up, because you won't stop rolling. Full thing rolling. The full thing rolling. Because yeah, the other big guy is actually a terrible. I mean, I don't think this guy sucks, he's just, you know, he's kind of powerful when it comes to his rolling thing, but, yeah. He's just not as tough as frickin' Gore. Ah, oh, crap! Right before I was actually about to, uh, to, uh, make him jackable. Oh my gosh! I just hit you right in the butt also before you get on him. I also want to show off this, uh, this attack I unlocked, along with, uh, Yeah, I didn't skip a thing, I just... I think I know what this one is. It's basically another... Another... Uh, it's basically the same as this one, but it's Y and land, and then press... Okay, press Y and then, uh, so, and then right as you land, like the... F like, right as you land. Then press the Y button again, and then right as you land there, then press the Y button again. Or what I like to call triple whammy. Which basically, you know, it's like double whammy, but we'll free the triple double whammy, so it's just, you know, it's a triple, it's like a double whammy, so it's a triple whammy. Yeah. So here's a cool new look for the, uh, for a tutorial stone. Oh, um, there's not a block for us to take out the enemy by, so we can get some emotional. Mojo, I like that. Like Mojo, uh, like Mojo is a is the way of saying hello in another language. The language is exactly the is a different language that is not English. We not English. Not, not English. Not English. Excuse me. About that. Now I want to take a good advantage of these. Words. This multiplier. Oh, whoops! Okay, that's actually fine because I meant to press the uh, Y button. Okay. Would you knock it off? Wait, is that the exact same thing? Like, uh, well, I mean, does that explain the exact same thing it does in the, uh, third level? Come on, I could use a good combo. Tombo, combo. I like it. Yeah, there's 50 of those enemies, which basically, uh, the amount we needed, uh, in order to get the mini master, or the amount of those we needed to defeat in order to get the mini master from the previous level times 2.5. 
times two and a half. So I'll just go with two point five. It's basically, you know, one half is basically point five. Yeah, I gotta step away from that thing in order to object from the enemy. And what I don't get uh, that much is why do you use the B button jack on? To, uh, like, you know, it doesn't make too much sense to use the B button for jacking onto enemies and reading tutorial stones. Not reading tutorial stones, but you know, to, to go into tutorial stones and all. That's what that to say. Darn it! It wore off right before I freaking punched the thing. Fucking time limit. Part of the triple first. Oh well. That's fine. I still got something I did in the the time stream. I mean, I still got an okay one in the world in the the time stream. say about this, this free jack keeps reappearing after you collect it. Right, uh, oh my gosh, that was close. So close for crash. Okay, uh, we don't have time to do the pose thing. Okay, yep, there's the free jack. No, don't grab it! Oh, I'll try to hold on to it. Okay, well, that's fine. Not that way, you idiot. I think it always keeps reoccurring. After the one, yeah, after you uh, finish using the one before it, then as soon as you finish using using one, then. I mean, as soon as the first one wears off, then... Okay, okay 100%. But, uh, as soon as one wears off, uh, as soon as the one you're using wears off, then it'll reappear. Here, right here. Oh my gosh, he's just adding fire to that fucking thing off. There's something I could... Use the thing on. Only I can't reach it. Way I wouldn't be able to reach the mojo. Whatever. Oh! Oh shit, I almost forgot about this part. Wow. Ah. Okay, you know, whatever. Let's continue. What about the mojo that? Okay, maybe I should. Was it, uh, go for or something like that? 
Because a funny thing a friend of mine showed me when I was having one time they came over to my house and they were in a game and the stupid CPU was pissing me off a lot and then yeah, and then and then he showed me something to so make me feel better. And then we pretend that the uh, that the guy was being called sick fuck was the uh, She's just a total bitch because, well, yeah, at least in most people's opinions, and especially my opinion, along with this one other guy I know who's called the Agent 41. Yeah, it's the Agent 41. Who really doesn't like Patrick, basically. You know, it's just, to me, Patrick is just a big pain in the fucking ass. Like, whenever I play a board game, Patra, it seems like she always does, like, so many fucking wrong things. It's not like a board game, she does at least one thing that I don't like. Um, she does multiple things in, like, like a certain amount. She has, like, over 10 times in one board game, no matter how short it is. Included the story mode one, because basically they have, like, the most control for the, for the, for the, uh, Boards and yeah, and you know the lower the cookie goal is, the quicker it is. Especially if you get a good run. And since it's also the long board that you fight Patra in, then yeah, there you go. And basically, it's like it's a long board and you get a lot of spaces, and there you go. But you use like you use castles when you already have free space or a free castle, then you own it and multiple players own it in the same space and then you get to battle it out with a stupid luck based event. I mean it's not a mini game, but you know, it's just a little thing where there's like like the amount of players that there's the amount of boxes and one is a castle and the other or others have nothing. Like it's just completely empty. Just nothing. But yeah. Okay, I feel like we're gonna stop right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and yep, see you guys in the next episode. When we do, no, not the next episode. But excuse me, next level. When we do the next episode. Oh, I, I, oh wait, I was right about next episode because you know, like next level of the game. They call them episodes in this game. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this.